show you two. I'm gonna read this story, There's a Tiger in the Garden, and it's by Lizzie Stewart. Nora is bored. There's nothing to do here, Grandma, she says matter-of-factly. Jeff the giraffe is bored too. Why don't you play in the garden, says Nora's grandma. I thought I saw a tiger in there earlier. A tiger? asks Nora. There's no tiger in the garden. I'm too old for silly games. I'm sure I saw one, she replies. And dragonflies the size of birds and plants that can swallow you up whole. And a polar bear who likes fishing, though he's a bit grumpy. But the most magnificent of all was the tiger. You and Jeff should take a look if you don't believe me. She's being silly, Jeff, says Nora, standing outside the garden. There's no tiger here. Just the same boring old garden with boring old plants and boring old whoosh. Something whizzed past Nora's face. It's a dragonfly. Wow, says Nora. Well, Nora says to Jeff, there might be dragonflies as big as birds, but I know for a fact that there aren't plants that will eat us whole or a grumpy polar bear. And there's definitely no tiger. Come on, Jeff, let's go. Jeff! Oh dear, can you see what she's doing? She's having to save Jeff from the plant. Fine. So there are dragonflies the size of birds and that bush definitely wanted to eat you, but I don't see any polar bear and there's no sign of this ridiculous tiger anywhere. Come on, Jeff, let's go home. Hello, says a gruff grizzly voice. Uh, uh, hello, replies Nora. I suppose you're looking for that wretched tiger, aren't you? Humph, says the polar bear. No one ever comes looking for me. Oh, not you as well, shouts Nora. There is no tiger living in my grandma's garden. This is just ridiculous. Tigers live in the jungle, not in the garden. <gasps> what could you see coming behind her? And even though there are dragonflies the size of birds and plants that want to eat us, and you are a very grumpy polar bear, there is absolutely, definitely, 100% no tiger. Hmm, says Nora. Hello, says the tiger. Um, tigers don't live in gardens, says Nora. Are you real? I don't know, says the tiger. Are you? Nora thinks about this for a long time. I don't know, she admits. How can you tell? I'm not sure you can, says the tiger. This makes Nora feel a little bit funny. I have an idea, says the tiger. If you believe in me, then maybe I'll be real. And if you believe in me, says Nora, then maybe I'll be real too. Deal, says the tiger. Deal, agrees Nora. Come on, says the tiger, I'll give you a ride home. And so Nora and Jeff ride home on the tiger's back. They talk about breakfast and trampolines and the grumpy polar bear. He really is an extraordinarily friendly for a tiger. Can I come and see you again, asks Nora, when they are near her house? Of course, says the tiger. Whenever you want me, I'll be here. Inside, Nora and Jeff sit down for dinner. There really is a tiger in the garden, isn't there? Says Nora. I'm not sure, replies Grandma. Perhaps it's only a ginger cat. It's hard to tell sometimes. No, says Nora. It's absolutely, definitely a tiger. And do you know what? What? Asks Grandma. There's a mermaid in the bath. And that's the end of the story. Bye.